Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Enjoy Biochemistry. I am Dr. Trupti. In the video lecture series on amino acid metabolism, today we are going to learn about metabolism of sulfur containing amino acids and the amino acids are methionine and cysteine. Sulfur containing amino acids are methionine and cysteine and these sulfur containing amino acids are the dietary sources of sulfur. Methionine is essential, it, is, it cannot be synthesized in the body and it has to be provided in the diet while cysteine is synthesized from methionine and it is non-essential. The methionine, the active form of methionine is that is s adenosyl methionine which is involved in the transmethylation reaction. Methionine is useful for synthesis of polyamines. And N-formyl methionine is the initiator of protein biosynthesis which is also synthesized from this methionine and cystathionine is also synthesized from methionine. The cysteine, it is involved in the formation of biologically important peptide that is glutathione, PAPS that is the active form of sulfate and coenzyme A, taurine, cysteine. All these are synthesized from cysteine. This cysteine is stored in the form of cysteine. It is nothing but two cysteine molecule when they are linked together by disulfide bond it is called as cysteine and in the protein cysteine occurs in the form of cysteine. Both methionine and cysteine these are the glucogenic amino acids. Now let's learn about the metabolism of methionine. This is the structure of methionine. Sulfur is present and methyl group is attached to this sulfur and the special group present in the methionine is thioether group. So this methyl group which is present in this methionine it is involved in the transmethylation reaction. So there is transfer of methyl group in the transmethylation reaction to form various important compounds and the conversion of this demethylated portion to cysteine and cysteine. So these are the two ways in which the metabolism of methionine occurs. Metabolism of methionine can be learned under three subheadings. The first is activation of methionine and transmethylation. Second, conversion of methionine to cysteine and cysteine. And third is degradation of cysteine. The first step is activation of methionine to the methyl donor S adenosyl methionine. S adenosyl methionine is the active form of methionine. The methyl group in methionine cannot be donated because of presence of stable thioether linkage. But when ATP combines with this methionine, there is transfer of adenosyl group to the sulfur atom of methionine and there is release of all the three phosphate groups and it leads to formation of active methyl donor that is S adenosyl methionine and the sulfur atom in this S adenosyl methionine becomes sulfonium ion and now the methyl group is labile which can be easily donated and that's why S adenosyl methionine is an active donor of methyl group. S adenosyl methionine the donates its methyl group to the acceptor and that acceptor becomes methylated product and this reaction is catalyzed by methyl transferase and S adenosyl methionine becomes S adenosyl homocysteine. Then this S adenosyl homocysteine is acted upon by adenosyl homocysteinase and there is formation of homocysteine and adenosine and this homocysteine can have multiple fates. One of the fate of homocysteine is regeneration of methionine and this reaction is catalyzed by enzyme homocysteine methyl transferase and this reaction requires two important vitamins, vitamin B12 that is cobalamin and tetrahydrofolate that is folic acid. So the methyl group is present in N5-methyl tetrahydrofolate and this N5-methyl tetrahydrofolate donates it, its methyl group to cobalamin and it becomes methyl cobalamin. Then that methyl group from this methyl cobalamin is transferred to homocysteine and there is for generation or regeneration of methionine occurs and tetrahydrofolate is released in this reaction. So this is the important reaction where two vitamins are involved, vitamin B12 and folic acid. What is folate trap? Deficiency of vitamin B12 is associated with folic acid deficiency because vitamin B12 is required for transfer of methyl group from N5-methyl tetrahydrofolate to cobalamin and it becomes cyanocobalamin and after it donates its methyl group 
to the homocysteine then only there is release of tetrahydrofolate which is a carrier of one carbon compound or one carbon so if there is deficiency of vitamin b12 the methyl group from methyl tetrahydrofolate cannot be accepted by this vitamin b12 and that's why there cannot be the formation of tetrahydrofolate from n5 methyl tetrahydrofolate and it is so when there is a deficiency of vitamin b12 it is associated with the deficiency of folic acid because the folic acid it is trapped in the form of n5 methyl tetrahydrofolate and it is not available in the form of tetrahydrofolate so second step of metabolism of methionine is conversion of demethylated portion of methionine to cysteine and cysteine so the fate other than regeneration of methionine of homocysteine is formation of cysteine and cysteine so in the first step homocysteine combines with serine to form cystathione by the action of enzyme cystathione beta synthase and it is the pyridoxal phosphate dependent enzyme so vitamin b6 is required in the form of pyridoxal phosphate and if this enzyme is defective it leads to the condition called as homocysteinuria because homocysteine cannot be converted into cystathione so there is increased concentration of homocysteine and it, it is then excreted in the urine it leads to homocysteinuria the cystathione then acted upon by the enzyme cystathioneinase which is also plp dependent enzyme and it leads to formation of cysteine and homocysteine so cysteine is formed by the transsulfuration reaction the sulfur which is present in the cysteine is derived from homocysteine which is ultimately derived from methionine but other carbon skeleton is derived from serine so cysteine has carbon skeleton from serine and only sulfur atom from homocysteine means methionine this is called as transsulfuration reaction the fate of homocysteine is formation of alpha ketobutyrate and ultimately there is formation of propionyl coa which is later converted to succinyl coa which is the intermediate of tca cycle and through the formation of oxaloacetate it is then involved in the formation of glucose that is gluconeogenesis and that's why this methionine is glucogenic amino acid in the protein structure two molecules of cysteine they are linked together by disulfide linkage to form cysteine so in the protein structure cysteine is present in the form of cysteine and this occurs with the help of enzyme cysteine reductase deficiency of pyridoxal phosphate that is vitamin b6 pyridoxin vitamin b12 and folic acid all leads to the condition called as homocysteinuria because pyridoxal phosphate is required for conversion of homocysteine to cysteine and again the formation or regeneration of methionine from homocysteine requires both vitamin b12 and folic acid and if all these vitamins are deficient then homocysteine either cannot be regenerated to methionine or cannot be converted to cysteine so there will be increased concentration of homocysteine which will be excreted in the urine and leads to condition called as homocysteinuria and that's why deficiency of these three vitamins vitamin b6 vitamin b12 and folic acid leads to homocysteinuria third important step of metabolism of methionine is the degradation of cysteine so cysteine can be converted to cysteine by cysteine reductase and then this cysteine can be transaminated to beta mercaptopyruvate and ultimately there is formation of pyruvate this transamination reaction is plp dependent this is one of the fate of cysteine second cysteine can undergo decarboxylation reaction with the help of pyridoxal phosphate and there will be formation of beta mercaptoethanolamine and it is involved in the synthesis of coenzyme a and that's how coenzyme a is synthesized from cysteine the other fact is that formation of cysteine sulfinate which can be then converted to cystic acid and sulfite both have different fates like sulfite is useful in the formation of active sulfur donor paps and sulfation is required for uh, sulfation of mucose polysaccharide so that sulfur is donated from by this paps to sulfation of muco polysaccharides from the cystic acid pyruvate is derived and 
taurin is formed from the cystic acid and ultimately there is formation of tauropolate which is the conjugating agent so it is involved in the formation of bile acids transmethylation is the transfer of methyl group from donor that is s adenosyl methionine which is the active form of methionine and it is a methyl donor so that methyl group is donated from the s adenosyl methionine to the acceptor compound and to form various biologically important compounds so this transmethylation reactions are very important the norepinephrine accepts the methyl group from s adenosyl methionine to form epinephrine epinephrine accepts methyl group to form metaneprine gonadoacetate leads to formation of creatine choline is formed from ethanolamine choline can also be formed from serine by the transmethylation reaction lecithin is derived from cephalin by the transmethylation reaction melatonin is formed by accepting methyl group by acetyl serotonin and nucleotides can also accept methyl group to form methylated nucleotides so these are the various important biologically important compounds which are formed by transmethylation reactions what is the significance of cysteine metabolism it is the glucogenic amino acids and most important dietary source of sulfur various sulfur containing compounds are derived from cysteine like taurine taurine is useful in the conjugation of bile acids paps it is the active sulfur donor which is responsible for sulfation of mucopolysaccharides and conjugation by detoxification coenzyme a is also sulfur containing compound the biologically important tripeptide glutathione which is involved in many reductive reactions and it is responsible for maintaining rbc integrity it is also involved in the detoxification mechanism so this is how cysteine metabolism has significant role let's summarize today's topic that is metabolism of sulfur containing amino acids cysteine and methionine so methionine is a essential amino acid and it is converted to s adenosyl methionine which is the active form of methionine and it is a methyl donor so it donates its methyl group to the acceptor and it becomes s adenosyl homocysteine this methyl group is accepted by various compounds and there is formation of creatine epinephrine choline melatonin etc and these are all are transmethylation reaction this s adenosyl methionine is converted to homocysteine and homocysteine has various fates homocysteine from the homocysteine methionine can be regenerated or it can combine with serine to form homocysteine and cysteine so cysteine and cysteine has carbon skeleton which is derived from serine and only sulfur atom from homocysteine from the cysteine pyruvate is formed and which leads to formation of uh, glucose and various important compounds like coenzyme a taurine glutathione these are synthesized from this cysteine